Good morning. It's September 19th, 2010. There's the backyard. Looks good when it's mowed. Lake's still low, though. Poor baby. It'll come up. We got a little rain a couple times. But still haven't gotten much rain in probably close to three months. Um, maybe even close closer to four months. Very little rain at all. It's rained all around us. Let's take a look at what we got this morning. Wife watered already. We got a regular basil. We got a bunch of poppers going on. Uh, jalapenos. We took uh, half a dozen off this morning. We're going to make some some bacon wrapped poppers tonight. Maybe I'll record that. There's our leaf lettuce. We've actually uh, we put this on burgers sometimes. We'll, if we're making hamburgers, we'll come out and cut a couple pieces off and for our burgers, so that's pretty cool. Bunch of broccoli. It's not dying. Well, we got a sad leaf there and then a couple sad leaves, but it's been a little cooler at night. This morning it was 71, so it's a little cooler, and I think that's helping some of our leafy vegetables and stuff, because that broccoli gets full sun and it's, it's hurting. We've cut some okra off, cut a piece of that off this morning, and then you can see we got some blossoms and we got one growing right there. But we've cut, oh, at least four off, decent sized ones. Then we got our peas. They're coming in. There's uh, just some here and there. They're so hard to see, they blend in with the plants. See? There's one right there. But they blend in with the plants so good, it's hard to see them. But they're blossoming and they're still growing. The bottoms are in real bad shape but it's really weird because even though the bottoms are in bad shape see like this one here the first one it looks dead on the bottom but there's a pea pod so <laughs> and our tomato plants are man they're tall but still no tomatoes except for finally on our grape tomato plant it's like cherry tomatoes, only grape. That that idea, we got a bunch of them that popped up. We got some there, and then on this branch here, we got a bunch. We need to tie that off, tie those plants off. Those tomato stalks are heavy. And then, got some good looking tomato plants. The plants themselves are really healthy looking for the most part. We get some more we get some more tomatoes there. Grape. So they're popping. I mean they're starting to show, you know. Just waiting for them to get big, but that's the best on the tomatoes so far. And those just came in the last week or a little better. If you check last week's video, I think there was only a couple of little bitty ones started and it's I think it's those cooler nights they're just starting to to show up this morning was only 71 we've had a couple of nights in the 60s and I think that's enough this is like Jack and the Beanstalk with these green beans I mean these these things just keep growing and growing and growing. They're taking off. Those plants are over six feet tall, six feet long. Actually, closer probably to eight. 
way over my head and all tangled around. And then you can see in there, there's a couple of green beans in there. And I'm sure there's a bunch of them. They're pretty hard to see too. I'm sure there's quite a bit more of them than what we can see. You know, if, if I dug around a little bit, we could probably find some more. Or not. <laughs> you can see they got some they got some pretty blossoms on them too. And we finally got a cucumber blossom. So hopefully we'll have some cucumbers going on here pretty quick. And I think that's probably the heat. Now we found a chart in our county that said we could grow a lot of this stuff when we planted it. That's why we planted it. It said like tomatoes in August you could do. But I think, oh look at that, that jalapeno plant has got a blossom on it already. Isn't that, that sucker's little. Uh, well that's why we planted a lot of this stuff at the time we planted it, but a lot of it kept dying. We weren't sure if we're not doing something right or what the deal is, but I think it's just the nights are too warm and that chart doesn't specify what you can grow. It just says tomatoes. Well, we didn't research to see if it's only a certain kind of tomatoes that'll take that kind of heat. So we're not sure exactly. There's some more leaf lettuce. We just cut off and throw it on a burger or something. That's pretty good. Come out here. The other day I made uh, I made some kind of frozen dish in a bag, uh, Italian dish. I had meatballs. It was basically like meatballs and noodles and pizza sauce. I came out here and grabbed some basil and some oregano brought it in and put it in my dish. Yeah, that one's, that pop uh, jalapeno, it's got blossoms on it too. My focus is being picky this morning. wanting to do the grass in the background. Well, you can see it there even though it's fuzzy. And then we got pumpkins. The pumpkin has, we've had some huge blossoms on this pumpkin like this one here. Big old pumpkin blossoms, a bunch of them. We come out just about every morning there's a new one. But there's no sign of a pumpkin starting yet. And we got our little our little fences up. We got these from Walmart for like a couple bucks a piece. And ever since we've put those up, we haven't had any dogs in the garden. It's worked completely to block them out. And the thing we really like about it is when you're looking even here when you just look in at the garden you don't even see the fence so it works as a blockade but it's not distracting but that's our garden this morning looks like a jungle <laughs> We'll see y'all next week. Happy green thumb. <laughs>